It's LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi with today's Data Science Makeover. Watch while Monica Wahi demonstrates exporting a data frame from R into an RDS file. Hi everyone, here we are back in Windows R GUI. In the last video, which you didn't have to watch, but I'll tell you what happened. I read in a data set called line items. Actually, let's look at it. I'm going to highlight the name from this code I have here, and I'm going to do control R. See, it's just a little fake data set with a bunch of IDs and sort of a cost column at the end. Okay, that's in R's brain. Now let's say you want to put that data set outside of R, but you want to make it in a format that's easy for R to read because you want to be able to read it back in easily. Like, let's say you just edited it, and now you want to write it to disk so you can read it in again and analyze it. In that case, you probably want to save it in an RDS format. Now, don't forget, when you export things, they're going to end up in your working directory for that R session, unless you tell R to put it somewhere else. See that? That's where you can change your working directory in Windows, but it's different on a Mac. I'll put a link in the description to a blog post that explains how to do it on a Mac. All right, let's go back to our code. Okay, so we are gonna use the save RDS command. See that here? Oh, look, it's an open parenthesis. Here's a bunch of arguments. Alrighty, the first argument is the name of the data set that's in R's brain right now, which is called line items. Remember, I just showed it to you. Okay, here is where you are naming the output data set. See how I'm just gonna call it line items again, but now I add .rds. So it's the name you want, .rds, and you have to put that in quotation marks. And don't forget the comma between the two arguments and close parenthesis. Okay, code checks out. I'm gonna highlight and control R. Cool, let's go check if the RDS landed in the data folder. Hey, Sure enough, there it is. First, there's the line items.csv. We read it in in the last video. I'll link to that video in the description. And below it, there's the RDS. Look at that, another successful data makeover. Thank you for watching this data science makeover with LinkedIn Learning author Monica Wahi. Remember to check out Monica's data science courses on LinkedIn Learning. Click on the link in the description.